Okay, this next question type, we are moving right along, is fill in the blank text. All right, so here's how you do it. There are blank bones in the human body. How did I get that response to show up? I literally added, as you can see up here, um, an underline. Okay, so an underscore, one single underscore. Um, and I'm going to make this two and over blank muscles. Okay, so now I have two responses. Okay, and I'm going to give them a note. Both responses require a number answer. Type B, correct? Number in each box. I usually give them a little bit more direction for the fill in the blank. Um, if they have to write words, I will add this, spelling matters, because quite frankly, I just don't go back and double check it. So, uh, however, when they're writing numbers, spelling does not matter, all right? Uh, and let's see, there, over, there are 206 bones in the human body and over 600 muscles. So that's what I taught them in class. That's what they should know. In this, there are two blanks. So I am going to give them a partial match, okay? Meaning if they get one of the questions right, I still will allow uh, them to get part of the credit right. Now, this is how many characters they can type in the box. I'm going to limit that to four, uh, which gives a smaller space. Also, it doesn't allow them to write a word, even if they tried to, okay, because it's going to limit them to four characters. I could limit it to just three if both answers have three, but I'm going to allow them to write four. And then I'm going to click save. Now here, one last thing, case sensitive. If you check this, capitals matter. Now, it doesn't matter for me. Mine are numbers. But if you wanted them to capitalize it, like if it was a specific place or person and it needed to be capitalized, you would have to check case sensitive. Now I'm going to click save. And again, this has two parts to it. So I'm going to change the point value right away for that one to two points.